Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, learning about how to become a professional pilot with EAS Barcelona. We are now fully into the instrument rating course. Today we are going to perform a Type A 2D non-precision approach into Girona Airport, in this case the BOR to runway 19. And get ready, as we will have some surprises, such as a simulated engine failure during our final approach segment. We are starting off the video with a go-around performed after an ILS approach to runway 19 in Girona. You can check the video of this approach in the latest episode of our series on our YouTube channel. IFR approaches have not been catalogued as precision approaches and non-precision approaches for a while now. They are catalogued as three-dimensional 3D, which is an instrument approach operation using both lateral and vertical navigation guidance, and as two-dimensional 2D instrument approaches, which means an instrument approach operation using lateral navigation guidance only. Instrument approach operations are classified based on the designed lowest operating minima below which an approach operation should only be continued with the required visual reference, as seen in the following chart. As you can see, there is Type A and Type B instrument approach operations, with their own minimum descent height or decision height, as well as RBR limitations. Take a moment to stop the video if you would like to look into the details of the numbers for each type of approach. So, are you ready to practice? Follow along with Vanessa, my flight instructor, and myself as we perform the complete approach from the IAF initial approach fix all the way down to minimums. To make it more visual, we will be adding the approach plate with our airplane following the approach so you can have a better picture of what we're doing. In this case, you're going to see this in flight, and we're using Jeppesen approach plates. Enjoy the video and remember to comment, subscribe and click on the notification bell to know when we publish new content. Okay, so 3500 left to... Okay, so BOR for runway 19. Uh-huh. Uh, 13-2 effective on the 15th of July, we have the same one. Okay. We have the 80s already. Uh, well, it may be changed, but... Anyway, we are on contact okay, with Girona. Okay, we're on contact with Girona. BOR Girona 114 small one which is set. Uh, with the seat one, and now we're on our way to the BOR. Final approach course 195, final approach fix 2500. Minimum descent altitude set to 930. And the minimum safe altitude will be for us at this point uh, 4600 and then 5600 altitude. If we need to hold, it's going to be a 1015 inbound. What we're going to do is from the BOR 022 to DME 12.0, where we're going to descend to 3600. The one's cleared. Then it go. There we are. And then once we are on the 12th DME, we can turn to 195 final, final approach course. NASGO 10.0, we can descend to 2500, we will do the checks, and then there at 5 DME we can descend to the minimum descent altitude, okay? Descent angle is 3.16, 500 feet per minute. Okay. And the, uh, the go around is the same as the ILS. Okay, super. So directly to the station, I'm going to set this for OR, which is 022. 1,000 to go. Uh, call them in order to tell okay. that once we reach the BOR, we will be ready to start the approach. And then on that way, they will clear you. Okay. 100 to go. Girona area is 1 November, reaching 5,600. Once we reach the BOR, we will be ready for the approach. Area 1 November, Roger, uh, you are clear for VOR approach runway 19, report 8 nautical miles on final. Clear for the VOR approach runway 19, report 8 nautical miles on final, Area 1 November, thank you. Perfect, so we can go directly to 022 once we are for the fix. Okay. 8600, we don't need to do the cruise. Oh, because you are about to start the descent. 
but let do the descent and approach. Descent and approach, propellers max continuous. As he's already said, max because continuous. we don't check it. Ready heat as required. I'm going to put them now. Okay. Can be required. Altimeter setting 1015, 1015. Passengers full out position, descent and approach. It's completed. I have a mic, I pass all down left base for touch and go. Hello, Mike. How many touch and goes do you want to perform? Two or three more touch and goes. Thank you. Hello, Mike. Roger. Okay, reaching fix. Okay, initial approach fix. Fuel pumps on. Max continuous. Taxi and landing on. Super. And I can start turning. Okay, 5,600 until we are. Church, CDI alive, CDI capture. Oh, we can start descending. 1600. Will be 12 DME, which is set, and um, left to 1904. Oh, so I can change it here at late. Do you? How hard to go? Check. Nine five. Let's go. I capture and the NASGO I can continue descent to 2500. Super good. I captured, okay, engine failure, engine control, failure. Okay. power. Okay. The craft engine is clean, aircraft is clean. And I will not restart at this point. Super okay? good. Oh, I will maintain and secure the engine. Let's go. Securing the engine. The engine, left engine is failed. So, fuel pumps on, throttle, idle. Confirm. Engine of the left off. Confirm. Feller, feather. Confirm. Okay. And fuel pump and fuel selector off. Okay, confirm. I will simulate that you have feather and giving you a slightly power in order to simulate that you will have less drag okay, with the uh, uh, engine secured. Okay, thank you. But it's not recovery, eh? it's only secured. Okay. Nautical miles, I can. Okay, engine secured. I'm not doing anything with the rudder trim because I'm maintaining the foot. Okay, super. Okay, 10 nautical miles, like captured, I can start descending to 2,500. And 8 nautical miles, I will tell them that I'm off. Okay. Okay, I know that on final you have a very high workload, yes. but now you are descending to uh, adjust five, five, the one, throttle, one. so adjust as well the propeller. Uh, maximum continuous. For example, right? that's it. Because this normally is full forward when it's a failure. Well, if you are descending, is need to evaluate if okay. you need it full forward in order to try to maintain the engine that it's alive in a safe uh, parameters. So if you don't need it full forward, don't do it in order to conserve the operative okay. engine. Okay. Right? Areas one November eight now nautical nautical miles out. Area 1 November, uh, Roger, continue approach. Continue approach, Area 1 November. Okay, and we will do the final, the takeoff landing and landing gear. No, takeoff landing actually, landing gear okay. only when secured. Okay. And no full flaps because we have. Correct, a correct. Harder to go. And we're going to. Oh, oh, 
for the 2600 because it's 2550. And the. Super good, Tosca. Nice. 6.5 speed check, flap takeoff. Nice. And. 1550 and three nautical miles out we're going to put the landing gear or at 1000 for maintenance what happens before okay at five nautical miles i can start descending as well and the altitude will be four it is one november uh, intentions after focus after the low pass we will request to activate it the next flight plan that it will be area 2 November via far departure on course to Sierra Whiskey at uh, 2500 or lower uh, and when you have our squad we are ready to copy. Roger area 1 November, uh, runway 19, clear for low pass, we can. Runway 19, clear for low pass, we come area 1 November. Okay, so final approach fix, fuel pumps on, forward, car rating uh, heat as final approach fix. Sorry, final approach fix is, ah, okay. uh, is minimum is nine, uh, 980, set, missed approach, set. Super good. Then 1000 to go. Is correct, this. correct, yes, super good, nice. Okay, how we are? Nautical mile three and a half. Yes, three and a half, and so the next one is three nautical miles. 1,880. Okay, super good. Okay, next, two nautical miles, 1,550. Under 1,000 above minimum, so three nautical miles. With running There's inside. There's one mile report traffic inside. Check. The traffic is now one mile uh, at 1,900 feet. At uh, 10 from your position, 9 from your position. Okay, looking for the traffic I don't have down. Yeah, and traffic final, inside. Final inside. Final checks. Final pump all. Uh, Mike, with the traffic inside. Uh, Taxi landing off. This traffic, you are number no two. full. You are able to put okay. both of them if you want. Okay. Taxi landing on. Flaps. Take off. Landing gear three. Warnings. The trip neutral. ATC clearance checked. And one nautical mile, 1,210. Okay, and in the possible event of a missed approach, you need to get sure to have all the post, uh, the, the RPMs available, okay. right, of the engine. Yes. So in order to have that, right, right. Heat, yeah. super good. Aires to Mike, Aires on Mike, as Aires to Mike, please squawk 7353. 7353, thank you. Okay, one, uh, one nautical mile, 1,200. So nice, super good. This one will be the minimum, it's 900. Once we reach at the minimum, you will have both engines, okay? okay. You are able to do a low pass. Okay, low pass and then go around. Yeah, correct. Okay, minimum. Minimum. Right way minimum. inside. And uh, low pass at what, 600. To you. Okay, yeah, I could do a touch and go. You are not clear. True. Meanwhile, you are doing the low pass, you are able to change the call sign okay. and the squawk is 7020. 7020. Okay, runway heading and as areas 2 November. Very good. Yes. That's it. Okay, let's go. Pretty great. Gear up. Are we available? Hundred feet. Action. There is a micro one nine wind three six zero degrees zero four knots. Uh, clear for two five something like that. Well, flight direct. Taxi landing off. Speed check. Flaps up. Flaps up. Speed check. Flaps up. Fuel pumps off. Flaps off. Speed check. 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 Speed